Hey guys, Bing here. Um, I saw this image on Reddit. Um, it's quite interesting. So let's model this. Okay, so first create a generic model adaptive and place 2.12. Select them, make adaptive, spline, reference line. And then place a point, draw on, draw on face, and place it on here on the, on this reference line. So then reference, uh, I'll just use polygon five five size. Draw on world plan, set world plan, pick the world plan, and then roughly um, like this. Okay. So now another point, draw on face, place it on this reference line, and then a rectangular shape, reference a rectangular. La, Draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this work plan, and so this will be the profile. So I'll roughly adjust it to something like this. So now select this profile, select the path, create form. So okay. So the next step is to make it rotate. So select this point here, rotation angle. So create a parameter, so I'll call it A, instance, OK, and OK. And then uh, we need a reporting parameter for uh, the distance between 1 and 2. So uh, set work plan, pick this uh, the work plan on this reference line, and then DI, and pick this point, make sure this point and this point, and then with uh, dimension. So select this dimension, and then create reporting parameter. I'll call it RP instance reporting. Okay, so now go go to family types. So what we need is to so here I'm going to copy this degree degree symbol. Okay, and then reporting here. So A the rotation the rotation rotation angle equals RP divided by our I'll, I'll just use two, 2000 okay so that's a 2000 millimeter so I just use this one and uh, it will give me so because this is a, a length parameter so and this rivet will consider this as a length as well so what this one gives us is a number and then use, I'll use this number times uh, angle so for example five degree and I need so if, if if I just leave it like this it won't work so see I just need to control V use the angle so now let me know um, this is an angle so um, I think this is okay so apply okay so now if I move this point two so you will see this shape it's rotating yeah and then I'm just going to select this point and type in one, so it will go to the point to two. Okay, so um, so the next step, I will instead of five degrees, I'll just create a new. Uh, I'll call it B and change this to angle instance. Okay, I'll type in five, and then I'll change this five degree to B. So I can control this angle. Okay, so so for example, um, I can try four degree. I'll try three. So see, four and five. Okay, so now this this family is finished. Um, now we can go create a project. And uh, in this project, I'm going to model a model in place. Mass. Okay. Okay. Reference a line and then select this line divide path so depending on how many you like maybe 15 so go back to this family load this into the here and then you can just place one two so this is the first one so I'll go to 3d view so you can see this is one two and I'll place another one from the first point one and the two so you can tell it rotate a little bit yeah and then select these two repeat so 
Yeah, I'm not sure why this. Um, I think this one. Why this? This one. I'll just. I'll just. Uh, I'll just delete it. So here, here we have all these um, shape. Just rotate it uh, a little bit each. Uh, so go back to ground floor. I'm just going to finish this mess and create a floor. Okay, and then finish. Go to view, 3D view, camera. I'll just create a view from here so you can see. It's quite nice. And if you want to, so it's pretty much fin done, finished. And then I'll just, let me just make it look better. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe shadow. Okay, so background. Yeah, of course, my color. So now, um, if, if you want to, so you can select this one, edit in place, and tab select one, SA select all. So you can see that's a B parameter. So we can top in. So if you want to uh, less rotation, you can top in smaller number here. If you want more, you can top in bigger. Yeah. So that's it. Um, and so because currently it's still repeating, so if if, uh, if you change the number of this, it will automatically create more or less of this uh, element. But once you decide a number, you can remove, you can select select it, select the repeating uh, repeaters, and then remove the repeater, so it will become one indi or each individual, say, or individual. So yeah, that's it for today. Uh, if you have any question, let me know, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.